Hello guys, welcome back to Mutu Cuckoo. Today we're doing another gun mod video, and this is like the second, um, second third of the guns in the gun mod. I go through and shoot them all. I built this gun range instead of shooting in a random swamp in a creative world. So let's get on with it. Let's start shooting. Okay, let's go. Right, our first gun is the Type 2. It is, I'm pretty sure from Halo, it shoots like energy things. And it's pretty cool. It like has like that blue shot instead of the gold at the end of a muzzle. And it's semi-auto and auto. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There is the Volk, which is a, like it's from Halo, I assume also. It's like an AK-47, but shoots energy rounds, or whatever those are called, those blue rounds. Um, the M8A7, it is a real gun, I'm pretty sure. It can go semi-auto and burst, which is pretty rare for a gun, because most of them shoot bur like semi-auto and auto. And the Remington 870... It's pretty iconic. It's a shotgun. It's pump action. It is, I think, used by law enforcement. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pump action, 12 gauge. Browning Auto 5. It is a semi automatic, despite the name, semi automatic. And, you know, semi automatic five shots. It's old. So, it's it was a big deal to semi automatic. And when Garand, my favorite gun. It was, like, the common infantry rifle for most, like, U.S. soldiers in World War II. And it makes a satisfying ding when you shoot the last round. There you go. And next, the G43 Gear, or I don't know how to pronounce it. It is a German rifle from World War II. It is basically semi-automatic, 10-round mag, pretty close to 8. It is very, you know, it's basically a ripoff of the Garand, but German, like World War II Germany. So that's pretty cool. The M M M one nine oh three Springfield. Basically it just it just goes by Springfield. It's bolt action and used by US troops in World War World War Two. Five shot. It's, I think some troops use it as like a sniper rifle. And yeah, that's pretty cool. The Carabiner 98 Kurtz. It is basically a... I'm coming to a blank on it. The... It's, it's like that gun that we just did. And it shoots... Um, semi-auto, five-shot, a uh, Springfield. It's like the Springfield. The Crag Jorsten, it is also like the Springfield. It is five-shot, semi-auto, basically the exact same thing. Also German, I assume. The for former stop, It. I think it might be a pistol from World War One. I. I am not sure. Eight shots in a mag. It's just a pistol, semi-auto. Pretty cool. Yeah, it has that weird double barrel look, but I don't think it shoots two at once, just one. But, yeah. Pretty cool. P10. Um, it is a, like, pistol. It looks kind of wonky. Um, I don't know if they actually use it in... It says it's a service pistol, so I don't know if they actually use it in modern day. But it looks pretty, pretty cool. Compared to other pistols. The Glock 18C. It is the Glock 18. Most video games, the Glock 18 is automatic, but in real life, it is not. But I guess the 18C is the automatic variant. I have a 50-round drum on it, so humongous. Um, yeah, and it is semi-auto, semi and then auto is crazy. It burns the magazine so, so quickly. has tons of recoil, too. The APS, our next gun, it is cool looking. It has a 20 round mag. I shot through it a little bit, but semi auto. I did not know that it was auto, but it's auto, which is pretty cool. 
the M712. It is a Luger. It looks like a Luger. I think it's a fancy name for a Luger. They use it during World War II. It was like an officer's gun for Germany. And it can go semi and auto, which is impressive for a pistol in World War II automatic. Here's an Uzi, the classic Uzi. Um, it's kind of famous because it has a, a trigger in front of the magazine, which is like a bull pump design. And an AAC Honey Badger. It is a Honey Badger in a decent amount of video games. It has a like inbuilt suppressor in the front barrel, semi-auto and auto. Has that nice inbuilt suppressor. You can see right there on the tip. It's octagonal, but it's Minecraft. That's why. It's yeah, it's pretty cool. The H E S C S. It is a pump shotgun. It looks a lot like the Spaz 12, but without the stock. Yeah, it's like a cut off stock <laughs> thing. There's a Saga 12. It is 12 gauge. All of the guns so far, all the shotguns have been 12 gauge. It's semi-auto, like modern semi-auto. It doesn't it has a very small mag though. The Spaz 12, you know, the classic. The the stock is folded up. You can see it above, and it is semi-auto also. Before recording this, I thought it was a what's it called? I thought it was a pump, but MP43E. It is. A double barrel shotgun, 12 gauge, HS 12, 12 gauge, and I it's like the modern version of the last one. I put a silencer and a a sight on it, so it's pretty quiet for a shotgun. It doesn't really sound like one. The Chippa Triple Crown, and it is a triple barrel shotgun, which I did not know existed. It's pretty cool. It has nice ADS. It doesn't really have any sight. Quad barrel shotgun. I don't think this gun actually exists because, you know, quad barrel shotgun, I don't think is a real shotgun's name. They would name it something, like a brand name. But yeah, it has four barrels, a lot of recoil. Pretty fun. M1897. It is a shotgun, 12 gauge. Um, pump action. I think it's the shotgun Americans used in World War One. So, it's pretty cool. Like a nifty little shotgun. And the Germ Germans did not like it. They wanted it banned. The M the Mark 14 EBR, they use it modern day. I have a sight, a silencer, and a grip on it, and a 50-round mag. It's like a DMR. Or like It can be used at like longer ranges, but it can be used medium range, too. It's semi-auto, but also auto. I, the ACOG does not like automatic. You can't see anything. There's that smoke from the gun. I think it's gas, actually. But you can shoot it. It's pretty cool. Bren Mark 11. It is the main British machine gun they used in World War II. It looks kind of funky with that top mag, which they don't use. And with the side sight, you don't see that anymore. Because it's just not, like easy to use I guess M9141 Johnson this is the LMG and it looks pretty cool I'm pretty sure they use it during World War 2 also I don't know which side used it I think it might be a French gun I'm not sure and there's the M941 Johnson which is the rifle and you may be thinking they probably look similar and they shoot different nope they could look completely different they're named the same thing I think this one might be from World War One. I'm not sure. And it's semi-auto. And, you know, pretty cool. It's like a predecessor of the Garand. The DP-28. It is a light machine gun, which is, like, big, quick fire rate, heavy. It was, I think, the, Fren the main French light machine gun for... World War Two, and I think they used it in World War One. Also, it has that weird-looking circle on top. The MG34. I'm pretty sure it's the predecessor of the MG42, which is pretty famous. It shoots a lot like it. It's a bit slower, but still really fast. German World War Two, and it has a hundred or fifty-round mag, and it just burnt through that very quickly. 
full auto. You can't change it to semi. MG42 called a buzzsaw. It's very popular. Well, well known, not popular. And World War II Germany, they used it a lot on D-Day and killed a lot of people with it. The M16 or the M60 E4 is a variant of the M60 used during Vietnam, and it's 50 cal, so it's very powerful and big. It has a 100 round mag. It can only use that 100 round mag. It's pretty cool. Fully auto, you can't change it to semi. I don't think they use it anymore. Stoner A1. It is like a modern version of an M60. In fact, it uses a 100 round mag. I put a sight on it. Sight looks pretty cool. It's full auto. This thing goes crazy, like really fast. Like almost as fast as it, like maybe faster than an MG42. It's, yeah, and there's that nice chain like belt you can see on the side. L96A1, co more commonly known. It's either an AWM or an AWP, and they are like the classic sniper from like all video game franchises, like a bull action. Um, most video games, though, they don't carry 10 rounds, but they do in real life. And, yeah, bolt action. I put a big scope on it. Pretty cool. So, next we have the AS-50. It's an anti-material rifle, which means it's very high caliber, like 50. Um, very powerful. Usually a lot of recoil on them. And, like, you sh can shoot it, and I shoot it, and it goes up, um, there's three, it goes up three blocks, like, up that bottom one to that, to that top one. So it goes up, like, one block and then another block. So two blocks total, has tons of recoil, and it's pretty cool in general. And that is the second third of all of the guns in Vix Modern Warfare. Hope you guys liked Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.